Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have more Starfinder, the RPG. Goodness, this time we have Flip Mat, Enormous Battlefield. And remember, wet, dry, and permanent markers are raised from the mat. And anything Starfinder related is, is brought to you by our good friends at Pazio. Once again, this mat is 30 by 46 inches. One inch squares on each side, each square, and according to the game, one inch square equals five feet. War Room. Make room on your gaming table because Starfinder Flip Match just got an upgrade. Measuring a Titanic 30 by 46 when unfolded, this new double-sized map presents not one, but two strolling ba sprawling battlefields. One side features a massive bombed-out urban battleground, while the other depicts the weathered ruins of an icy combat trench. Both sides are perfect for standard ground warfare or exciting mech versus mech combat. Starfinder flip mats provide ready-to-use science fantasy set pieces for the busy game master. With Starfinder flip mat, enormous battlefield, your player character's opportunity to be heroes just got bigger. And how to use this special coating on each flip match allows you to use wet erase dry erase and permanent markers with ease removing removing permanent ink is easy simply trace over any permanent mark with a dry erase marker wait 10 seconds then wipe off both marks with a dry cloth or paper towel of course this is brought to you by the great people over at pazio for more information you can go to pazio.com backslash pathfinder and this was released in 2023 so, and here's some pictures of the maps. So that's your trench they were talking about. And that's the bombed out cities. So this is larger than the normal. The normal mats that we get, that I've done before, the flip mats that I've talked about in here, were 24 by 30. This is 30 by 46, so it's a much larger map. So hopefully it's gonna fit on my table here, so. All right, so let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Of course, whenever you get these mats, you take off the dust jacket. I always keep them. Some people throw them out. I always keep them. It's a good way to keep track of everything. And of course, it is also has all the explanations for what it is. All right, this map. Yep. It is very, very large. Again, whenever I get new maps, you got to bend it a little bit so it fits nicely on the table now this thing is huge so i'm going to sh show you a little bit by a little bit so let's get this thing open and see what it looks like this thing is ginormous here Oof, uh. saying literally takes up my entire game table so I'm gonna try to get you section by section as we normally do so here we go flip it around so this is the this is the bombed out urban battleground we're looking at right here bombed out urban battleground Try to show you the section as we can. Best we can. Okay, this is the top of the map, as you can tell right here. I'm going to the second section right here. Here's your 
edge here. Okay, I'm trying to fit this as best I can. But this is a very, very large map. As you can tell, I had to fold it just to fit it on my table here and not knock other things off. So I have a round here. So this is the bottom half of the map. So you see broken glass, tops of roofs, but inside the building here. It's very cool. Got some offices here. Again, the flip maps are great. If you, of course, it's designed for Starfinder, but if you want to use it for any other role play game, you can. If you want to use it for a miniature game, whether you have square bases or you have. Uh, Circle bases, it's up to you. Again, we have more here, so let me just try to slide this up a little bit more so you can see the some more of the burned out damaged areas here. Again, that's the center of the table there. And as you can tell, there's damage all along the circle here. More damage there. Doorways, windows, doorways, windows. Again, so your people can come in and out of here nicely. Again, some more. We're back here to where we started in the top of the map. Okay, now just for purposes of example, put some figures down so this way you can see what. different sized figures would look like on on the map. There you go. So you got a bunch of different guys. As you can tell, it looks really, really cool. Of course, you have your Starfinder pawn here. This is an actual Starfinder figure. That's a dust figure. Now, if you look, the bases are larger for these. The dust figure and the D&D figure. Also, you could tell that the base is much, much bigger. So it takes up more than one square. And that's a dust figure as well. The square is a lot bigger. But still, the figures look really cool on the bases. On the map. And that's a Hero Clicks figure with, with the... Not yet based, but there he is. Obviously, the combat would look fantastic on this map. Again, none of these figures are included with this map. They are used for demonstration purposes only and are sold separately. So that's one side. That's the, that's the, the city that's bombed out. And here we go. This is the other side, which is the Ice World map. And this is called the, this is called the Icy Combat Trench. Icy Combat Trench. Okay, so we're going to start at the bottom and we'll go way around as we normally do. So this is the bottom of the trench here. And we're going to work our way around. Whenever these maps are new, they're a little crinkly, and they're not so easily folded, but it's okay. Do the best we can. This is really actually very, very beautiful. Now again, it's used for Star uh, for, for Starfinder, but again, 
if you're doing a Hoth battle for one of the Star Trek, uh, Star Wars games, this map would be perfect for that as well. It looks like a downed robot here or something. Again, that's the northern trench, just the top of the map. We're going to turn again. down spaceship. Center. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a second. Put that down like that. I'm going to throw some people out there. So you get a general just of what they would look like. On the map. That's an official Starfinder pawn. Official st Starfinder figure. Two dust figures. And a hero click who hasn't been based yet. There you go, that's how they would look on the map. They pop really well. Whether they're painted or unpainted, it looks good on the Again, these are a little bit oversized figures. For the bases are a little bit bigger than what they should be. These are, uh, I think, they're forty millimeter versus versus one that's a uh, twenty eight millimeter, twenty eight millimeter. And these are pretty much twenty eight millimeter in scale as well. These guys are more in the heroic scale, much a little bit larger. Again, these figures are not included with this map. They're only used for demonstration purposes only. Let's finish up the uh, turnaround here for the map. And back to where we started. And there you have it. And back to the first side we were talking about. And Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That's everything that's included in this unboxing for Starfinder Flip Mat. Enormous battlefield. Wet, dry, and permanent markers erased from the mat. Brought to you by our good friends at Pazio. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, you can always give us a thumbs up. You could always leave a comment as well. Also, you can hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on our next unboxing video.